So there are a lot of creators on YouTube and Instagram who create their videos using their smartphone's camera. And you may have noticed some videos from creators are quite stable, quite smooth, and some videos are not so smooth. And then there are some videos that are quite shaky. And the reason for the shaky videos is the absence of optical image stabilization. So in this video, we'll quickly see what's the difference between the optical image stabilization and electronic image stabilization. And then we will try to find which one is better. Is optical image stabilization better than electronic image stabilization? or we can achieve similar results with electronic image stabilization as well. So let's first talk about optical image stabilization. Optical image stabilization or OIS is a hardware based solution for stabilizing videos and photos. And this is how it works. So in smartphones, mostly high end smartphones and mid range smartphones, there is a sensor in smartphones called gyroscope. The purpose of this sensor is to detect the tilt and the move of your smartphone. So the OIS hardware communicates with the gyroscope and whenever you are taking a photo or a video and you're shaking your hands a bit suppose if you are shaking your hand in the left direction gyroscope will know and will communicate with the ois sensor which will compensate that move by moving to the left so it will even out the jerk making the camera stable so that it will be able to take a stable photograph stable video now the reason why ois is important in photography is because it improves low light photography because for low light photography the cameras need to decrease the shutter speed the shutters will open for a longer period of time so that the maximum amount of light can come into the sensor making the picture well lit but it creates a problem because if the shutter speed is slowed down and you are shaking the camera meaning the photo will get blurred if your camera moves so this is why in photography a lot of photographers use tripods with their cameras because of this issue but with smartphones we usually take photographs with our bare hands and this is where the ois is helpful in minimizing the shakes so that the photos in low light photography are not blurry and the purpose of of OIS in taking videos is even more crucial because if you are recording a video and you're shaking your hands the shakes will also get recorded because the camera is capturing in real time and this is where the OIS hardware will help you keep the camera stable by communicating with the gyroscope and minimizing the jerks as much as possible this is why the videos taken from flagship smartphones where there is gyroscope as well as OIS the videos are smooth unlike the videos from mid-range smartphones or low-end smartphones where the optical image stabilization is missing and you will be able to see the shakes in the videos now coming to electronic image stabilization unlike ois the eis is done entirely through the software so in smartphones where only eis is available when you record your video and done recording that video the video is processed for example if you are recording a video in 30 fps which means there are 30 frames in one second of video so each of the frame is processed using the software and there are two things that play an important role in the performance of EIS because EIS is also not same on all the smartphones. It depends on the software optimization, how optimized the software is as well as how powerful the processor of the smartphone is. So what EIS does is it analyzes all the 30 frames of one second video and will try to look for all the pixels that remain at the same point. And if you are taking that video with your bare hands, it's a handheld video. There will be some shakes in that video, meaning all the 30 frames of one second video will not be the same on the edge because the pixels would be different so the software of your smartphone will analyze all these frames and will crop the pixels that are not matching making the video cropped in a little bit so this is why you will see the electronic image stabilization zooms the video in a little bit and since electronic image stabilization is a software process and is done after the video has been recorded it doesn't play any role in photography because you are taking only one frame and that cannot be analyzed or processed it's only one frame so EIS doesn't really play any important role in photography but it plays a key role in videography in taking videos but how good the EIS will depend on the software of the mobile phone manufacturer as well as the processing power of the smartphone so which one is better obviously the OIS solution is better because the videos will not be cropped in and you will get better results for your videos in low light but there is a but both of the technologies can be used in one smartphone and it will give much better results flagship smartphones like iPhone or Samsung's Galaxy have got both the OIS as well as EIS in their smartphones and that is the reason you see videos from iPhone camera or Samsung Galaxy camera are far better than any other videos because there is OIS as well as EIS present in 
those smartphones. The OIS technology will take care of the jerks while you are recording the video and the EIS will take care of the rest of the jerks that are still there in the video. So if you are into mobile filmmaking for best results you should go for the flagship smartphones preferably iPhones because their video cameras and the optimization of the software is much better on iPhones and if you want to go to the Androids you should go for the flagship smartphones for better video results. Although there are some affordable smartphones that have got optical image stabilization I have actually curated a list of affordable smartphones with OIS features. The link will be in the description of this video you can check it out and get an affordable smartphone with OIS technology to make better videos. Also check out mobile filmmaking series on the blog uh, where I have shared some useful tips and tricks to make your mobile phone videography better. So that's it in this video I hope you found this useful if you did you can hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next one till then take care.